So it is time to dive into Crossall again. It's the mid monthly update as we had last month. We've got a brand new raid event and a brand new update to the Tag Duel event. And so for the Tag Duel event, it's just giving us Cyrus as a character who has a maximum of level 20, which is fine. Again, there's no reward cards. It's still the same kind of complaints from last time round. It's the same this time round. There's more stages, but it's still a pretty lackluster thing. You get some sleeves, and that's kind of about it. Now, the big thing, of course, is the brand new gacha and the brand new event. So, I'll go to the gacha first of all because it is Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon in Expert Gacha Volume 2. And he is a very cool Guardian monster. I'll right, we'll go to his three animation. Just have a look at him real quick in all of his glory. He's a pretty, pretty beefy, pretty, pretty beefy dragon. And he's got a very cool master skill that on summon can nuke every level follower monster in the lanes ahead. So, in every lane that's facing towards you, so your ones on your left, your right, your middle, nuke all of them. And if you do, you deal 400 damage, which is pretty big. Now, this is more of a mid to late game card, and I think it's going to be fine in some decks, but not in its own thing. I think Pendulum can use it quite well in just without the skill on it. Like, they could just summon out as a big 4500 beta and, and go to town with that, which would be pretty cool. But I think that given its requirement of either being 3 monster summon or when you make it a fusion, it becomes two monsters plus one level eight, which means you're investing five cards into this card, right? For a big blue eyes that can then just be popped on summon or next turn by another normal blue eyes. So it's got some use cases. It's a very cool boss monster, but I think it's not overly great. And so is this gadget a bit of a uh, a bit of a bait? Yes, it is. However, as we normally do. Let's go in and just try and pull a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Why not? I kind of want to play in Pendulum, so please, there's any time for Konami to give me what I want. It is now. Oh, I don't like this. Come on, please. Here we go. Please. It's a super rare card guaranteed. So close to being the ultra rare. Please, be something good. Do not do not be a card I've already got three copies of. Do not be the backup secretary, the Gaga Magician. Please be Trickstar Candina. Please, that would be insane. Okay. It's useful for the current event. And it's on banner. So we didn't get super screwed like last time. But still, only getting an SR is not great. And you know what? Let's just go and finish off our gems. We'll, we'll do a skip and see what happens. Nothing. Okay. Of, of course, nothing. Probably a waste given we might be getting Black Wings or Black Rose next. We don't know what's happening yet because there's been no leaks. Because I've been pretty, uh, uh, pretty tight on that. But uh, let's dive into the brand new raid event and see is any good. So of course we've got some raid event missions which give us some uh, accessories, right? If we go scroll down, we've got uh, some blue eye sleeves which look very, very cool. And the big thing when reaching raid 15 is this icon of Blue Eyes on Drag in chibi form. It's, uh, people have been going kind of crazy for this one. So uh, it, it seems to have uh, hit a win with this one at least. But let's go on to the event and uh, see what we get. So. We can also get another level for Kaiba, up to 40, which is good. We've got a Playmat as well here as well. Yep, okay, so pretty standard there. Now, Blue Eyes on the Dragon is, again, like the uh, the Magnum Overlord. It does give certain monsters a bit of a bonus when going against it. So things like Dark Magician and Utopia, they're going to gain some more attack points, which is cool. And again, these cards as well will gain more attack points. So they're making cards don't see play really useful, which is nice. Now, the raid event itself, the whole goal is to destroy all of Blue Eyes' three heads. And so once you've destroyed a head, that head can't attack anymore. And so you're taking less damage every turn. You're not taking as much burn damage. So let's see, can we find a game? It's going to be early level, so not, nothing too crazy, right? Not level 15 or legend. But uh, we'll see if there's anyone playing on raid. Okay, here we go into our raid duel versus Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon instead of Kaiba. We've got... One more, oh, no, no, get three, three all players, okay. Very cool, all of us have got a playmat apart from one of our guys. And let's see, opening hand wise, we're running Gargar Magician as our ace because we can kind of infinitely keep something back and it's got a bonus on it as well. So it's going to be dealing blue eyes, like 2500 damage, 3000 damage every single turn. And this animation is so, so good. Again, Konami with Cross Door, because the animations have been so, so good for this game. Even if the game can be sometimes a bit, you know, not what people wanted, I think, quality-wise, they've done a pretty decent job with these animations again. And of course, 
we've got to hope our players do deal with the white stone of ancients over here of legend sorry because this will be giving the blue eyes attack points every turn so they should deal with it and as you can see here in the top uh, left here there are you know your different zones to attack into so i'm facing head our right guys facing head and the door's force facing head so let's go and just summon into our gargar magician and that should just kind of be good enough for this one right and summon him he's going to gain another 1500 points so be 3000 on summon Deal 3k damage, we've got to deal a total of 10,000 damage to every head, so in 3 turns, 4 turns, we should be about to beat the boss, right? So, so this should be pretty straightforward. Uh, hopefully, our players can uh, play in a timely manner, because uh, this is probably the easiest raid duel event we've had. The Magnum one probably took a bit more uh, thinking to do, but this one, you can just like summon your monster in attack mode, have them attack in, and it should be pretty straightforward for even bots to play with, and for... Uh, people that haven't been playing the game as much to actually just come into this event and do well, get the rewards and uh, farm the ultimate materials, farm the gems. And overall, we've got three summons with some big damage, so uh, that's not too bad. Although, we have got our guy on the left summoning in defense mode, which I don't know why you would do, given you play the Zubar Bar Knight. Let's see attacking in. Of course, we're going to go to the battle with the uh, Raid Monster, destroy that. Then the White Stone is going to go down. And then finally, our guys getting attack points, and we're now going to deal a pretty big, big amount of damage to the blue eyes. And we'll see on the top left. We've now dealt 3,000 damage to two heads, 2,300 to one head, and we've got our Gargar back in our hand. In these early rounds, this should be pretty straightforward, right? And especially with Gargar Magician, we can just keep summoning that out and keep recycling it. And we're now going to take some damage from blue eyes to the face, which is fair enough, minus 15. Right, okay, so we've got to go and place a guy to our right to deal with this egg, and then... Just attacking directly with the blue eyes. Ooh, a trap. What is this? Ultra creature destruction. If a very much of a battle, destroy the monster's battle. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. Uh, let's go and send a W wing to the side here. And I guess here, if we want to deal some damage, this doesn't really matter here. So we could just summon odd eyes, deal 25. But I think still, you know what? Let's summon the damage and go. Why not? It's technically more damage. And uh, that should just be good enough, right? So here we go. There's a Miller. That's going to be another bonus damage on that as well. We've got our Damage and God and our, our W and Catapult. On our left, there is just a Zubar by Knight. And on our, on our above is a Time Gazer. Okay. Sure. He's playing Anti Monster, so he's going to be dealing some damage. That's 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 fair enough. Now, does this Blue Eyes have the 1,000 or 1,500? It has 1,000. Okay. So we're going to take some damage, right? Because we didn't summon to this zone here. But that is all we're going to take, right? It's only 300. So it's, it's not terrible. There's the Vorse Raider. Going to be going down to zero. And not the most damage hitting the blue eyes in the back, but uh, that's fine. As much damage as we can deal is fine. But of course, the Elmer Creature comes in, destroying it, which is uh, fair enough. Then we'll go for the uh, some healing on the top left. Gaining 1,000. Pretty cool. And of course, the egg is going to then die as well on our bottom right. And then we'll just do some more damage. It's pretty straightforward, right? For an event, kill the egg, deal some damage, and then you're kind of done. And most of the time on these lower levels, if you've got people that are still attacking blue eyes in the back, then by the time you've killed all three of the heads, you should have killed the dragon entirely. Now, you will bring up the uh, the double damage, right? But it won't really matter. And that's kind of the big thing is that in these lower levels, you should be good enough to go in and play, I think, even getting to 15 will be fairly straightforward for most players. Which is good, because I didn't actually get to 15 on the Magnum event, so I missed out on the icon. But this one, I do really want to get. We had the egg spawn here again, so the egg does keep coming back every turn, which is kind of annoying, and does mean you have got to deal with some, you know, put some pressure on. But if it does keep spawning in the same spots, then you should be getting a, a couple of removals with each of your summons, so it shouldn't be too terrible. But let's see, now they have done some big changes to Crossed All, since the last update, right, they've made the game faster, they've made it uh, more efficient, and when you, like, do disconnect, or, like, you do, like, kind of lag behind some other players, your game speeds up to match those players, so you're never kind of having these long hangs, aside from your opponent isn't actually doing anything, and they're thinking. Oh, here comes Utopia, so we've got a Neos, we've got a Utopia, and here we've got a Vorse Raider. Okay, fair enough. That is plenty amount of damage. Let's just go and uh, Blue Eyes is going to be dealing some damage because he didn't summon into those two zones, which is fine. That is kind of the, the big thing is Blue Eyes can deal some decent damage, but it should be should be manageable. 
let's just go and try stab because why not? I want to deal the most damage. So we've got 25 from Neos on the side. We've got another, what, 25 plus 4 there. So another 4,500 on the side from the Utopia plus a decent amount from the top. We should be getting rid of at least one of these points this time around. We'll heal some damage. I should be getting quite a bit of healing damage here. So uh, this should be plus 3k, which is kind of mental back up to 8k. And then the big damage comes in. Here we go. Let's see. That's going to be a good chunk of damage back. Uh, where are we at? 9k. So we've done one of the heads now. So Blois is about to lose a head. It's about to, you know, just not work. So that's good. The other two are within at least like a 1500 attack point monster summon. So we will be winning on our next turn. Which is fairly straightforward. Again, fairly straightforward. Fairly easy. There we go. Blois losing its, uh, its right head. Not able to be used now. And of course, that's the one that kind of comes in here, but we can still dam deal the damage, right? So, if we just summoned a big boy and deal 9k damage, that'd be fine. We haven't got to, but we, we can do, right? So, we have got to deal with this uh, this egg, just in case. Let's summon our dice to this middle. What, what, why not? And then we'll summon into the exit cannon on the right here. Why not? Our dice doesn't get summoned that much anymore. He's just a free summon. And I do want to get an ultimate material to put on Dark Magician because Dark Magician does get a bonus from this event. So he will be better than Odd Eyes in this case. But Odd Eyes is just some guaranteed damage. And against some of the high level raids, it's going to be useful. Blue Eyes every turn will blow up cards on your field depending on their attack points. And so if you've got monsters with 1800 more attack points, then you're going to be surviving you know, non-stop. It's going to be pretty easy going forward. So let's see. We've got an X-Head Cannon on the far right. We've got, of course, my Odd Eyes in the middle. And on the left, I believe, is a Vorse Raider, if I'm seeing that right. There, yep, it's a Vorse Raider. Okay. Very nice. And then at the top is a Mad Archfiend. So, not the best, but again, we're going to win anyway. You know, we're gonna, or at least we're going to deal a decent amount of damage. We might not win this turn because the, the damage isn't going to add up, right? But we should we should be, uh, you know, getting some big damage in anyway. So, it's ready up. Why not? And uh, let's just go in. Right, the monster battling happened on the right. That is fine there, of course. You, you probably should be playing the anti-destruction on the Z-Mail tank, given you've got that much bonus on it. But uh, it shouldn't really matter. Take out the stone, and then let's just get all our buffs off. And this should be a decent amount of damage again. Will it be game? Probably not. It might be super weak. 1600 damage? Okay. So yeah, like, you should normally have cleared the blue eyes by now. But now... Lois is going to go into his uh, stun state. He's going to get his, you know, maximum damage output up. And so we can just summon anything, attack in, and deal double damage. And that will be the end of Blue Eyes. Let's see. Hmm, you know what? Should we summon Hippo? And do a Hippo for game? Because that will technically just be. That will just be game on board there. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's summon Hippo and deal exact lethal and then we'll attack in for our big damage, and this will just be the end of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Nice and simple, on turn 5. Of course, if you're playing with people with better decks, then you're going to be dealing more damage. So, if you do want to join a Raid Duel server, link down below to the Crossroad Discord that I'm in, and you can join there. There's people always chatting in the Raid Voice channels, right? F finding ways to make Blue Eyes and make the other raids easier. And so, come join there. And let's just see, did we drop any gems on this one? There we go, Blue Eyes about to explode and go down. There we go. And we got Boss Level 4 unlocked. Okay, very nice. Next, 7 gems. Alright, for, for spending 20 minutes doing that, that probably wasn't too bad. And so there's my first real look at Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, the brand new raids event, the update to the Tag Duel event. And that is kind of it for Cross Duel for the remainder of the month so far. So, any thoughts down below on Cross Duel? See you in the next Duel Links video, I guess. Tomorrow should be. For a fun Casey Cup video, I guess. See you then.